The distance to Mars is roughly 140 million miles. Using our best current chemical rockets, it takes nine months to get there. Nine months of cosmic radiation, muscle atrophy, and limited supplies. To make humans a multi-planetary species, we need to go faster. We need nuclear thermal propulsion. Since the 1960s we've relied on chemical combustion. You mix fuel and an oxidizer, set them on fire and the explosion pushes you forward. But chemical engines have a speed limit. Most of a rocket's weight is just the fuel needed to move the fuel. Engineers call this efficiency, specific impulse, or I dollar, SP dollar dollar. Nuclear thermal rockets work differently, there is no combustion, instead, a compact fission reactor generates extreme heat, we pump liquid hydrogen, the lightest element in the universe, directly through the reactor core, the hydrogen doesn't burn, it absorbs the thermal energy, and expands violently out of the nozzle. Here's the physics, the lighter the exhaust molecule, the faster it moves, chemical exhaust is heavy, H2 dollars and CO2 dollars, pure hydrogen is incredibly light because it's so light, it exits the nozzle at much higher velocities, giving us an I quadraspiru dollar dollars of $900 seconds, double that of the best chemical engines. This efficiency is a game changer. It can cut transit times from nine months down to just three or four. This isn't just about saving time, it's about safety. Shorter trips mean astronauts spend half as much time being bombarded by deadly galactic cosmic rays and solar flares. Is it safe? These reactors are designed to stay cold until the rocket is safely in orbit, far from Earth. NASA and DARPA are currently building the Draco mission to test this technology in space by 2027. We are closer than ever to the nuclear age of space travel.